Okay, here's an update video of the benchtop uh, RS-485 uh, network junction. Uh, that, that also includes my master. I uh, just want to do a quick update on that. Uh, I got my Max 487 uh, CPA Plus uh, chips in and um, got, got the whole network working now, no problem. Um, just wanted to say that the ATX works perfect. Um, no, no problems. 12 volts, perfect, nice and stable. I am going to add a. It does have a fuse and short protection inside, but inside. But I'm going to add a uh, glass fuse holder here with just enough uh, amp um, to uh, coverage to run the whole thing because uh, I don't want a 40 amp short. <laughs> anyway, going to also add another glass fuse holder in here too um, why not so anyway uh, mega works perfect I just wanted to kind of show the shields that I'd made for this thing um, so here's my master shield here um, so it is in a socket this camera is not the greatest you can't hardly tell but those sockets are keyed you know it's a little cutout here on the front side of the chip that orients the, the chip itself the socket will also be done the same way uh, so on this guy here um, I just use jumpers uh, quick disconnects and like in the last video I said I've got a on the receive side I've got a jumper there uh, so receives on 19 transmits on 18 and my T TX enables on on pin 2 for this one uh, the bottom side uh, basically just jumped like I said these shields are awesome they'll, they'll handle some heat you don't have to worry about full like, cur curling the pads or anything uh, or anything like that so just jumped all the appropriate connections um, like you should never see the jumpers down here so there's the master and then for my CDU and AAP I'm going to 3d print basically a tub an enclosure that will encapsulate both of these together as one unit that will drop in the console. That's one unit together and it will also um, contain all, I don't have any, I'm not going to have any light spilling outside my, my cabinet or anything. Um, so that way it backlights nice, nicely it should anyways. Uh, but anyway, using two megas for these two panels here, it'll run the display and, and the rest of the buttons. Um, I kind of goofed, I didn't look at the schematic very very closely and I was not getting, I was getting uh, data out from the master but I could not get any data to the sim uh, because I didn't look at the schematic well enough and I was and I had my slave uh, RX TX pins on 1819 also wrong <laughs> they have to go on TX1, uh, 0 and RX0 right there, these two guys. You're running a Mega as a slave right there. That's where you're going to run your your uh, DI and RO pin your, uh, from the Max here. Not over there. Won't work. Trust me. <laughs> anyway, got that problem sorted. But uh, So here is slave shield number one. Uh, this has the I, I wanted to keep everything nice and tight. I didn't want to layer a bunch of stuff So basically got the 487 chip here um, And Got the jumper in place obviously uh, Like I said you can see right there uh, Pin 2 is that yellow line digital pin 2 is that yellow line uh, just one second Okay Anyway um, TX enable I've got on this bus it's pin 2 the purple line there is TX going to digital pin uh, 1 gray is receive that's going to digital pin 0 so TX 0 RX 0 just to make that clear so I've daisy chained these two together here so I have 12 volts in and 12 volts out 
data A and B in and out. Now on the back side, did these a little bit different. Uh, so jumped all the connections coming from the RJ45, positive, negative, data A and B. Now you notice this, I didn't want a lot of wires on top. These aren't touching anything. So I've got my ground coming in, going straight to the ground on the MAX chip, out from the ground from the MAX, straight to the ground uh, for VIN and 5 volts. So the MAX gets the ground up front uh, first, and then the receive jumpers down here, and then my digital pin 0, 1, and uh, 0, 1, and 2 are there. So like I said, this works great. Love these shields, these things are awesome. All right, so here's Slave 2. Um, quick connector in, A and B, and then power. Uh, you can see the key on the Max chip there. Like I said, that socket's key the same way. Um, flip side of that guy, did this one a little bit different. The ground is done the same way. It goes straight into the Max chip, out of the Max chip, over to the ground to the to VIN and 5 volts. To the board. I've got VIN right here on the bottom side going over. I just didn't want a bunch of stuff on, on top of the board um, getting in the way. There's plenty of room. There's nothing touching on the, under the bottom. Later on I could do everything underneath if I wanted to, but this works just fine. So these two ran uh, on top of two different Megas, and those are aftermarkets, obviously, but um, they work great. Once I got those pins sorted out, uh, the Megas uh, RX and TX started flashing no problem before I had nothing. So anyway, yeah, running a, a Mega as a slave, definitely want to get those input-output receive transmit pins on the right one. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, gonna wait till I get that, that enclosure. Um, printed for these for these guys and then I can put it on top of the standoffs um, and we'll be good thank you